well, player of the year he is. Messi, Modric. See, this is weird. Because if you go into Brace Dino and into Notes, it says that he definitely won the Balloon Door. Oh, it's 2020. Oh, okay. Okay. Guess that makes sense. They haven't updated this one yet. Right, right, right. Well, let's get into it. All right, welcome back, Earthlings and others, I guess, to episode two now of the, let's just call it Barca Boys. I don't know, I haven't even thought of a title yet. Just so keen to start playing. We left you at the amazing Alaves game, and since then, well, three fairly easy wins. Although the Bilbao one was uh, cutting it a bit close. Messi missed the penalty. Like I said, he always misses penalties. It's just weird. Anywho, we worked. I was going to show you Bilbao and Valencia, but as you can see, Ajax have snuck in there and kind of meddled with the whole plan. We had some group draws, and as you can see. We have Slavia Prao, should be fun, so, and Ajax and Paris Saint-Germain, so, fun group. Uh, I expect to get out of the group, but getting first could be problematic with, oh, don't mind him. I'm already scouting him, and I'm already telling the press that I want him, just getting ready for next summer. So, maybe he'll actually play shit with me, that would be nice. But of course, it's the reunion of... The backstepper himself, Neymar Jr. and Senior will probably be there too. Anyway, that's the group. It's going to be a fun one. And we're actually going to kick it off right now with our first... Oh, proceed. No, 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 no. Because we just figured out that Braith Dino did in fact win the balloon, the balloon door, I'm going to start him ahead of Griezmann. Griezmann had been... I mean, he scored three goals, but didn't set the world alight, I think. So... Gonna give Breitinho a chance today as the pressing forward because it's the only thing he's capable of. Just running towards the ball and being annoying. But <clears throat> I know it's Petri's now starting. He made a bit of a super sub impact against, was it Bilbao? I think so. And therefore he deserves a spot. So, yeah, time to proceed and play Ajax after them. A little sleeper favorite of many football fans, probably. So let's hope they get shafted. Let's say, let's do some pumping of fists because I've just talked about shafting. Let's say we have faith, NATO, blah blah blah. Just do it with number two every time. Can't be bothered reading all that. And let's get underway. So we are at home. I low key expect us to win, but you never know. Ajax is certainly good enough to cause anyone trouble. I mean, let's just... Whew, okay. I mean, there's also a bit of a connection here, so that's always fun. Barca and Ajax are, in many ways, the... like a big brother, little brother thing, and we keep stealing their amazing players. Which is good. So keep doing that. I am thinking of doing that myself. They have quite the talent pool, like Anthony here. Not too bad, only 20 years of age. But the problem with the problem with manager is that all the best players in the world are always right wingers. It's like I, I only need one, and I already have Messi, and Braith Dinho can play there. So, anyways, corner PK, he did that as well. Was it Bilbao? Yeah, same recipe. Can't complain. Playing Tiki Taka, and all we managed to do is score a corner. So, nope. Let's just see it again, because why not? Good goal. I'm actually going to is it direct it. Okay, direct it. Another one? I mean another set piece. <laughs> Apparently we're set piece specialists now. Messi to former Ajax player, the young of course. Great goal. Why did Messi run all the way there to then not do anything and run back? You need to worry about your physique. He's gonna get tired by half time from doing that. With all the assists he's making. Anyways, more, let's see. Messi's just taking on the world. 
I guess he's not tired after all. No, oh my, this has to be a goal. Bit of a weak finish, wasn't it? Onana, someone I'm looking at too, but I don't know. I mean, he does look good, but he's also very expensive. He's also 24, so he's not exactly like a youngster anymore. That's kind of what I want to do. I want to bring in all the young boys. Stop thinking like that. <clears throat> but, yeah. And build a team of youngsters with... Def well, definitely with Messi there, but maybe with PK, maybe with Busquets to be the leading figures to mold them into amazing footballers, hopefully. But, yeah. So, there's a lot of work that needs to be done in the summer. I'm tempted to just go on holiday all year and then go back for the transfer window, but nah. Anyways, I'd, I'd keep yabbering on. There was actually a great chance to Anthony. I guess that's a good thing we didn't buy him. He's going to miss those. Tadish with the corner. Neto, who's actually been performing really well in Ter Stegen's, what's that, absence. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. I'm actually having so much fun. It's even the same day like uh, that I recorded the well, the last bit of the second, uh, first video, I just, I'm so keen to play the game, and, hmm. As you can see, I'm still rocking my Braith Dino support. For 2020 Balloon Door winner. He needs a goal. Oh, assist would be fine. Is he even going to be credited? I mean, it's a great goal, but let's see if he gets credit to the assist. Because there was kind of a, a touch, was it? Yeah, the young into... Messi was involved, right? Yeah, and then Bethinho, and he, yeah, the defender just gets a toe on it. That's a shame. Let's see. Let's see if he gets the credit. He does not. That's a shame. Well, we saw it, so we saw that he definitely worthy of the balloon door. Three mm, 0 Yeah, let's see. Don't get get complacent because it is Ajax after all. They can do all sorts. Another chance, maybe? Ajax are actually coming forward. Ooh, two cooties. I mean, kudos. Kudos. I don't know either. Well, they're just recycling the ball. Oh, no, Anthony. He's oh, my God, Neto. See, this Anthony guy. Don't ever buy him, even though he's never died or something. Guess, guess we'll find out. So that Anthony guy should have scored two already, shouldn't he? Fisio's coming on. Are they just going to hug it out or what? <laughs> what the f Okay, that was weird. So he starts walking and then he just tumbles over. And it looked like the physio was literally dragging him. I mean, is he going to survive? That was pretty funny. Oh, no, I guess. Getting subbed off. Anyways, get some more chances. Pedri. Who's been amazing so far? Oh, that was a great pass. To look at this proper tiki taka and Messi. Is he gonna get the goal? Yeah. Not yet, at least. Come on. Dest, former Ajax as well. You could probably say that half the team. And Tifati. I mean, that assist was godlike. And Antifati is fifth goal so far in what is that? Like five matches or something. So it's pretty, pretty darn good. I mean, Dest just takes on the world. <laughs> okay, Onana. See, I'm definitely not buying Onana if he's going to do stuff like that. Our defenders keep losing Anthony. Well, it's a good thing. He can't score anyway. Oh, Langlet. So close. I don't know how we're suddenly dangerous on set pieces. I guess it's my... It's the... I know actually what it is. It's the... Brethinho is inspiring them all. Going to make some subs, because why not? Coutinho can come on. Brethinho, after his amazing assist, can come off. And we're going to put on Moriba. And we'll change these two around. Yes. Uh, I can't actually remember if you have five subs in the Champions League as well, but I guess we'll find out. I'm a vivid component of making as many subs as Humanly possible. That was pretty close from Quincy. Quincy promise. I don't know what he's promising, but apparently not goals. Uh, they're telling me to get De Jong off. 
Let's see if we actually can. Do we have more stuff? We can get Roberto on. Oh, we do. That's pretty snazzy. So let's get Jonas Knudsen on. And now that we lost Bethenio, we need some other Danish input. Yeah, 4 0. Pretty, pretty good. So far. And that's that. 4 0. Well, can't complain about that. That was actually very good. Very happy. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. Now. Let's see. Such a positive. Yes, exactly. Oh, yes. Good feeling. Very good feeling. <coughs> Cooties day. Group D. What happened in the other game then? 4 1 to PSG. See? We're already better than PSG. That's a good sign. And Messi on form, etc. Definitely praising. Uh, passing was a joy. Of course it was. Can't I praise the praise Dino? Oh well. See, distance covered 13.8 kilometers. That was just from all the celebrating that he did, running back and forth. Well, anyways, good training at least. Anyways, so we'll skip forward a bit and then play Valencia at home. Should be a good one as well. Three days, so see you then. Welcome back. Valencia time. Although he had a great performance, I think Griezmann is going to be up for this one. Wait, why does it do that? That's that. Did you guys notice that? Why did it make him a pressing forward? That's strange. See, I always have personalized, so I can just change the players however I want. Like, can you go away? Okay, that was weird. I couldn't move it. See, when I put Messi in there, he turns to a trequatista. But I guess I can explain this one as well. I always play with a, well, at least in this one, I play with an attacking midfielder on attack in the pocket to try and get him, especially when, like now, Coutinho is playing. I want to get him into the box and do what Coutinho does best. I mean, I guess what he does best is, you know, run in from the left wing and just smash it in the corner. But we kind of have Fatty there, so... Not that he's fat, that's literally his name. Stop mocking him. Anyways, the rest of the team is pretty, pretty, pretty simple. Anyone needs? Nah. Just gonna keep going. Sadly, Pjanic with the wonder goal that he did the last episode, he's sadly out injured. So. All right, let's see. Valencia, are, uh, I'm so already scared. Sola with the Neto again. He's actually performing really well. I'm happy. Well, I'm a bit worried. I mean, as soon as Chester comes back, Neto is bye-bye. But it's good to see that he's putting in a performance when he made. Well, okay. I'm Once again, I'm babbling on and there's a goal. Death to Messi. Uh, nice goal. Let's see it again. So, actually a throw in. Then Fatty is involved. I wouldn't say involved, he was there. Death to Messi, and I mean, I don't know what the keeper's doing, but I just wanted a bit of exercise there, which is fine, I can accept it. <coughs> if it was my keeper, I probably would have been a bit sad. But Neto is hmm, apparently good. Oh yeah, I just remember, it's Silasen. I mean, there's no, I don't think there's match fixing, match fixing going on, but you never know. <laughs> Anyways. Griezmann, Coutinho, Fatty's all alone. Can he beat the last man? Okay, or could you just do that? I mean, that was pretty spectacular. <laughs> and then the, what's that even called? Cartwheel in English. Oh, look at that angle. That was actually nice. Griezmann, Coutinho, that is some high quality counter-attacking in it. And then he just, he just whams it. Like, I thought he was going to dribble and do all sorts and... But no, just wax it in the corner. Mm, pretty nice. Oh, what's going on here? Just a free kick to Messi. Oh, what the? Is Messi injured or something? Oh! I mean, did he save that? That was pretty bonkers. Didn't it go out, though? It looked to me like it was going out. Mm. 
Well, good corner there, Messi. Is he injured or what? What's going on? Can't I just like see that? <clears throat> okay, let's do this chance and then see what uh, is Fatty with a header as well. The kid is insane. What's going on with Messi? Potential knee injury. Ah, we can go on to half time, but that doesn't sound very promising, does it? Oh, tiny cat has arrived to start whining at me. Yes, are you sad about Messi? Yeah? Yes? Yes, I'll take him off. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll I'll do it now. Oh, what? Who did this? Did I do this? What the... I, did the cat do that? What the heck? Did I... Did I press one of these and it automatically did it? Or am I losing my mind already? Episode 2 and I've always already lost the plot. That was pretty mental. Okay, Gandalf, who next? Griezmann, okay. Gandalf wants Wraith Dino on the field. And who am I to say no? You want name? What? Are you mad? Neymar is on the enemy team. Well, not in this match, but actually the next match I'm playing versus Ma Neymar. How can you say that? Probably. Well, Arda Turan. Uh, I don't know if he's technically still a Barcelona player. Maybe I should look into that. Uh, oh yeah, we scored a goal by the way. It was Pigman, I mean Griezmann. So, should I still take him off? Yeah, why not? Mr. Uzu. I, I was thinking of buying him, but... Uh, as you can maybe guess, my lovely assistant here is Turkish and therefore wants me to buy all sorts of Turks. So it's a lot of Turks. Hmm? <laughs> well, I would hope so, since you live in Turkey and you are Turkish. By the way, De Jong just scored with a beautiful assist from Braith Dino. He has won. He won. He's going to win the Balloon d'Or this year. Yeah, he's the... Balloon door specialist. That would actually mean that he has won the most balloon doors of all time. Fact. Something like that. It's an award for. It means best something. Best hair. What? <laughs> I'm not sure. I think it's the best footballer in the world, but I think that's the Ballon d'Or. Not sure what the balloon door actually is. By the way, I'm just doing all sorts of subs here because why not? I mean, it's 4 0. Holy moly, why are we actually playing so well? I mean, I know why. But <coughs> it's the effect of the Danes. Goal again. Look, there's Coutinho this time. The, with a super duper duper. It is, when I'm the manager, yes. You're damn right. I mean, that that free kick was pretty snazzy, wasn't it? I mean, it's going very well indeed, so hope you're enjoying it. Don't worry, I, yeah. I have a feeling that it's not going to go this well the entire season. But, who knows? <laughs> oh, Neto comes out. I was definitely worried there. It's going to be some sort of calamity. 5-0 so far against Valencia, that's pretty... Unexpected, I would say. <gasps> Definitely wasn't Knudsen's fault, no. No! Okay, that doesn't matter. Yeah, we were just giving him a bit of false hope there. Did I make all the subs? Nah, we'll just assume I did. Can't be bothered clicking buttons. And there we go. By the way, this is... Oh, you couldn't really see. Why was that? Uh, I mean, very well done. I just wanted to see. I don't know if you know, had a time to see. My fancy attire there. Can I see it? My profile. Boo, I can't. How do I see my actual proper attire? Oh, this is definitely not it. Oh, well. <sighs> well, that was it. So 5 nil, 4 nil. I mean, cruising at the moment, right? But, mm. yeah. What should we do? I mean, considering my girlfriend just 
jinxed me to lose to Neymar. I think we're gonna have to show them the PSG match as well, and then I'll do uh, Sociedad as well because in my test run they were bloody amazing. So it's gonna be a very tricky one. They have Alexander Isak, who is pretty good, and more more notably, where is he? Just something that's a bit under the radar. David Silva. I mean, just look at him, how sexy he looks. That is amazing. Uh, how long is he out for? Four weeks? Ooh, probably can't play versus us then. That'd be great. Anywho, thanks for watching. And if you liked it, press like, subscribe, all that jazz. I'm sure you know how YouTube works. I barely do. But hey, let's figure it out together. Uh, yeah. See you on the next one. Toodles.